Hello and welcome to another English lesson. This is a hotel English lesson. We are staying at the Best Western tonight. If this is the first time you've ever seen an English lesson from a hotel on this channel, let me tell you how it's going to go. I am going to get to my room. It's room 250. I have the key in my wallet, but I can't stop recording and I can't stop teaching English until I get to my room. So that means I might be asked to stop recording. I might get into an awkward conversation with somebody. I am walking around carrying a camera, so that's a little weird in itself. But um, there is a wedding right in the front entrance, so I'm gonna have to get past some people here. So I'll probably go around somehow, but we can talk about flagpoles. There are three flagpoles right over there and they each have a flag. The American flag is in the middle. That's the Connecticut state flag. I am in the state of Connecticut right now. And that looks like a Best Western hotel flag. And that is a big bus. I think that bus is going to be full of people going to a wedding. It's, a, it's not a regular school bus. We might call that a charter bus. It's gonna get loud here in a minute. And there are people right here. <laughs> This hotel does have a restaurant right next to it. Looks like you can gamble here. That is a gambling game called Kino. I don't know how to play that. And we might call these whiskey barrels. I think that is the first time ever on the channel that I've taught whiskey barrel. All right, let's try to get through these people and try not to get too many people on camera. It's gonna be impossible. Uh, gotta, all right, gotta get through here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Lots of people for a wedding. Hello, excuse me. The belt Yeah, we're close to the belt. Oh, you're right around the corner. Let's go over here. There's uh, something called complimentary breakfast. Is that the house right in the corner by the other? No, it's not breakfast time. It is uh, in the afternoon, but complimentary, anytime you see that, it means free. Free, complimentary. But it's not breakfast time, so maybe in the morning, I will come this way for, for breakfast. Oh yeah, probably. I'll ask here. Is this is this where breakfast is served in the morning? Okay, I saw I saw a sign that said doesn't look like it though. Thank you. No, I don't. We just saw that sign though. Complimentary breakfast. This is Looks like those are fireman pants or firefighter pants. So this restaurant must have something to do with firefighters. But when I asked in there, is this where breakfast is in the morning? They seem totally confused. I don't, I don't think it's where breakfast is. This is not part of the hotel, but it looks like they might have a band playing here. A band called Gear Junkies will be playing here tonight. I'm recording this on uh, October 15th. Yeah, so if you need cash, you can come here and get that at an ATM. Automated teller machine. 
Nobody says that. We just call it uh, ATM. I am confused about the breakfast though. Uh, let's go back out here. There are people. And there's somebody else with a better camera than I have. She must be the wedding photographer. I mean, I think that's where the breakfast is. I'll let you know tomorrow morning. Another ATM. And you can uh, get cash there. All right. I would like to show you this over here. If you come to a hotel and you forget something you need, many American hotels have a place where you can get medicine. Looks like sunscreen, sunscreen. So you don't get sunburned. All kinds of medicine, allergy relief, <clears throat> which I am struggling with my allergies right now. That is $5. That's not too bad. They could probably charge more. How about Q-tips? Do you know what Q-tips are? Or you might hear them called cotton swabs. Q-tips is the brand, but almost every American will call those things. Q-tips. Also chapstick. $3 for that chapstick. Not too bad. We also have a cone. An orange cone. I'm not sure why. Lots of people here. Try not to get anybody on camera. And it looks like, oh, hello. Are you the bride? Okay. I won't get you on camera. Okay. Oh, the bride of that wedding party is right here. What's your name? Oh, congratulations. Thank uh, you. Looks like there's some complimentary coffee here. Good luck. All right. We can go check out the vending. Vending. If you saw the last hotel English lesson I did, the vending machine was gone. Maybe the vending, it smells good. It smells clean in here. Maybe the vending machine will be, oh. Just a, let's, let's go back towards the bride. She's probably not there anymore, but about American weddings. I'm not sure how this is where you live, but there is a custom for American weddings. Like she had her gown on and everything. So she's the bride in the wedding. The groom is the guy, if, if she's marrying a guy. I think I saw the groom. They're not supposed to see each other before the wedding. If they do see each other, it's bad luck. I think she was hiding. Oh, yeah, she's still there, she's still hiding. So I just said, Hello. can we say hi? You look so pretty. You look so pretty. Oh, I wish, I wish I was a YouTuber that, you know, would just put people on video and didn't care what they thought, but I don't want to make anybody feel bad or weird. Let's check and see if they have vending here. Oh, it's a long walk to vending, but it did say vending this way. Now there are other signs. Hmm, this might be an English lesson where none of the arrows lead to where they say. No breakfast, no vending. A bridesmaid just went into that room. A bridesmaid? Those are like the bride's best friends and they are all wearing purple dresses. I think it was purple. So no vending. Okay, so if you need, uh, so just in case you don't know what vending is, if this is the first English lesson at a hotel you're watching, vending machines are machines where you can buy snacks 
or maybe drinks. Vending is this way. It's the same side as the pool. Okay. Maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe I'm the problem. Let's check out the business center. Many find the lights here. Oh yeah. Many American hotels will have what's called a business center. Probably has a computer. We would call that the computer monitor. Keyboard. Mouse. Printer. It's a printer. And so the business center is if you are staying here at the hotel, but you still need to get some business done, come here. All right, let's shut the light off. Let's get out of here. I'm in room 250. I can't forget that. And the bride is gone. We were just at the lobby. So down this way should be vending. I actually see a vending machine now. All the way down there. The pool, I see the pool. And I see the fitness center. Now a lot of times you need your room key to get into the fitness center. And I just so happen to have my room key. I'll use an English phrasal verb. I need to pull it out of my wallet. I just pull it out of my, so hard with one hand. So my wallet, I just pulled it out of my wallet. Put that back in my pocket. This is a little envelope. I need to take it out maybe. Oh yeah, we're getting it. Treadmill. Elliptical machine. Probably we would call that a stationary bike. Those are dumbbells. And it looks like you could control a speaker, but there's no music playing. What's over here? Looks like a scale. So you can see how, <clears throat> excuse me. So you can see how much you weigh. I am not going to step on that scale. I don't want you to see how much I weigh, but this is in um, pounds. So it goes all the way up to 350 pounds, I promise you. I'm not 350 pounds. Nice little area that you can sit outside. A gazebo, that white thing is a gazebo. But those ladies are looking at me because uh, there's the pool right there. Not working for me. It might work for you though. My husband got but, me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, guess gotta wait. I won't get you on camera, but uh, <laughs> I'm filming an English lesson right now. Oh. But I got another key. If, if I can get you in, let's see. Ooh, that might work. Oh, that oh, works. That works. <laughs> Enjoy. You're welcome. All right. So, one of my keys that didn't look like it worked, but uh, usually when you check in, to an American hotel, they will give you two keys. My son is in the car waiting for me. And for the first time ever, I have not seen the room yet. 
for this English lesson. So we will see it together. We found the vending machines. Most hotels will have ice machines. So they might not have a refrigerator in your room, but they probably have an ice machine. Now, oh, I was just going to say, where are the stairs to get to the second floor? Because we are in room 250. There are only two floors on this hotel, or two floors in this hotel. It's probably the best preposition to use. Only two floors in this hotel. Let's go upstairs. Do you hear that? Not too long ago, I did an English lesson about English words that make sounds. And I think I talked about hum. Sounds like something is humming right now. Ooh. We found the culprit. The culprit, the thing making the noise. A culprit is like the bad thing. Maybe if somebody steals from a bank, they are the culprit. Well, the culprit making that noise is this ceiling fan. It's a fan on the ceiling, not the floor. Down there is the floor. Up there we call the ceiling. Hello. Looks like our room is this way. 250. And we might have a little bit of a walk because this is only 223. So what should we talk about before we get to our room? What about a painting? What about some artwork? Beautiful, huh? We have some lamps, not a lot to talk about here. I gotta I got to get to my room, but I can't go too quickly. Then I will be out of breath, breathing hard. And then if I'm breathing hard, I can't teach English. We're close, 246. 248, 250. Oh no, we're right by the vending. It's not too bad, but we're also right by the ice machine. That thing isn't exactly quiet, so luckily, And we are right across from executive housekeeping, which probably means the person in charge of housekeeping, cleaning the rooms. And it looks like there's some Spanish written there. I'm going to walk in here. Hopefully we don't get in trouble. Nobody's in here, but that's all in Spanish. All I know is gracias. Two fifty. So we will look at the room together for the first time. The first thing I noticed. The lights are on, but the fan is off. We don't want the fan humming. The toilet seat is up. It's always polite to put the toilet seat down in the United States. And this room cost $253. But it's in Connecticut. It's in a um, nice part of Connecticut. New Haven, Connecticut, not too far from New York City. It is October, so it's a little expensive. But my son, he goes to school down here in Connecticut, 
and it's parents weekend, which means uh, the school opens up for parents to come and they have activities for us. So it's parents weekend. We have two queen beds. Not long ago, I did an English lesson about sleeping and we talked about mattress sizes. The thing you sleep on is a mattress and these are queen beds. And we have some beautiful artwork. That will be nice when I'm laying in bed and I can look at that beautiful artwork. Ooh, more artwork. How lovely. What kind of a view do we have out here? Not much of a view. But did you see what I saw? Train tracks. Can you see those train tracks behind uh, those trees? That's not gonna be very much fun if we have to listen to a train tonight. <sighs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this English lesson. Up there is a bunch of hotel English lessons. You can watch those for probably hours. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.